the pack out of the water going even quicker. It looks like he is on pace to do that. Let's see the pace that he takes in. Wow. Three tenths of improvement, 13 8. His teammate. Yeah, so it's going to be P1 Bradley taking it home by five tenths of a second. To, it's Leonard, who's P2. Then only a tenth behind him, Tigsy. Uh, in P3, five red lights. We're waiting. We're waiting. They're waiting. And we're off. Bradley is going to be looking to get a great start, which he does. To, it's Leonard, but Tigsy as well gets one a great start too, battling right that back at Bradley. So getting that first place might rule the day. He's going to have to go around all of these drivers. It's clean into turn one. Nothing yet, but there's a lot of jockeying. Through. Nick putting, if I get the right camera there, looking to make a run on Eagle. Yeah, Eagle goes a little wide. And Nick is going to take that position you right the day, but This is fantastic wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing here in Mexico. And look at the run. This is without a DRS as well that Gorn Sanders got. Gorn Sanders might even be thinking about sitting up the inside of the Ferrari as well. He has a soft tyre. Trying to get closer. But Voity, behind him, has a run. He's going to get that. He's going to have a run. Side there, by Jacob. side. Ooh. What a, what a nice one. There's Nick. Look how powerful it is. Good's gone two here. He has, has he? Has he got past both of them? Yeah. He's done it. Absolutely brilliant. That's how powerful that DRS. And there you go. Look at it. That is it's Leonard going for a move on Defoe. It. He's going to be pulling to the side. It's wheel to wheel. And now it's Leonard. It's taking barely. Brilliant overtake again. Seems to be the classic, but yeah, he won't get the DRS. He will get the DRS. He just he was a little later on opening that DRS, I think, because you actually see DeVolf opened it up just a little bit earlier. So, I think he got caught sleeping on that keep one. Keep pace, Ooh, especially when the soft on. tires are still pretty lit up. Jacob, sorry, cut you off. Jacob was slowest there. Voids and Gorn Sander. Has Gorn Sander made a mistake here? Drop back a little bit? No, yeah, I think no. he's actually moved up just a little bit he more. He just knows cutting. that if he stays behind in Sector 2, especially through the S's, you'll see this white line that he crosses. That's that DRS timing line. That's going to give him the DRS to get just that ever so slightly closer to Jacob, the Red Bull. DRS train. So two different DRS trains you can see on that track map. Yeah, and Tigsy's coming right back at It's Leonard. Tigsy taking the lead against It's Leonard. Yep, he got but it. Jacob now under pressure. Also, from Defoe, Michael. it's closed in on It's Leonard. And It's Leonard is also closed in on Tigsy. But Defoe, uh, It's Leonard has decided to pit. He's going for the early pit stop. Yeah, it's time to undercut. We'll see if it works off because the tires are getting around. Got really putting the pressure right now on its stand. And that's because that's that crossover point, isn't it? Where the mediums are a lot better than the softs. Or a little bit better. Yes. Ooh, it's not over yet. And that looked a little bit crazy there with some lag. Early. He goes, I'm concerned if he's having other issues with the car the over just the tires. Uh, he was sitting in P16 and dropping from the pack that he was that was right ahead of him. So he might have more issues with that car. Lane. Eagles boxing. So the eagle has landed. Like my bad puns. He's landed into the pit lane. He's landed in the pit lane, yeah. Gotta have bad puns on the Biggles. Notorious for the bad puns. Keeping the gap pretty close to Bradley as Defoe, who is on softs, is going to be trying to bridge that gap to Bradley. Already closing in to those mediums of Bradley quite quickly. About a two-second gap from each other, and those like 10-lap old tires are... Now it's kind of a waiting game to see, but there they go. They are into the pit. It's a battle between the Ferrari and the uh, Alfa Tori. And again, uh, side by side through there. Look at push comes to shove. Dane Elbows being the out. great cameraman. Stuck yep. on that interval of 0.018 seconds there for Bradley. Now it's fixed itself. I was going to say, yeah. if that was close, it is close at the front, but look at this. The two but guys are in the box. 2.3. But this is definitely dropping. What do you think about that one as a driver there, Mr. Shark? Is well, it... we have a full core safety car, oh. so there's a lot to think about it now. Yeah. This is a free... Oh, there it is. Because yeah. front left. So he gets a new bunch of boots. Bradley will resume the lead of this race, although Bradley has picked up a penalty. Mm. His first three-second penalty. This is perfect for Defoe. It. On those softs, he's going to be able to hold them just for a little bit yeah, longer. And bang, he's off. You do see that quite a lot these days. I think since some of the patches, that the P1 can really just dominate the control of the race start. 
But the fourth also got a pretty Bradley good is... speed right now, doesn't he? Should oh, yeah. be able to get past the Red Bull pretty easy. And it can just now slap that brake pedal and the car can stop a little deeper and a little later because of the tyres. Yeah, you can also carry a lot more speed. But to pull those couple of tents closer to Guan Sander. And another soft runner, and that's Falkaways. Making it up the order, going back and forth with Eagle, but making it ahead just like They were going to get eaten, eaten for breakfast or eaten for or real din per se. Let's say court. Hook, line, and sinker. That's the one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But Defoe it now is already starting to break. Is he confident enough to turn in with that speed that you said you're carrying? Yes, he is. Gunsen is not an easy man to get past. Ooh, but he, Jacob almost... Oh, and Tigsy is his next victim. But that ERS light is flashing. If he gets ahead of Tigsy, Tigsy will know. The Haas team will know it's time to pounce. He will be a sitting duck for not that, you know, not that long. He's going to be able to recharge there, isn't it? In the first couple of turns, turns one and turn two. Yeah. Turn three, but... So now Cody gave me a bad camera angle, so I'll switch back. Here we go. We kind of mm -hmm. knew he, he was had to get it. Tigs has followed him too. Jacob got passions boxing, so I think the Jacob is in kind of in that control of that car because the AI would not box you, so obviously it was pretty lucky. But I, Beagles, are you, are you sure it's not the Rolex time penalty award? Oh, not a bad one. I've never thought about that, that one. Yeah. I haven't uh, I haven't done it yet. And I want to do a graphic overlay to show those warnings as well, too. As both are the fourth and the Aston Martins are going for it. And the uh, two yeah, Ferraris. This is Acti's race to win right now and win with a nice margin. But not further on down there, behind them, there is a battle going out here between East Leonard and Nara again. They're at it two for nail. And they're also the different tyre strategy. Into turn one, Jacob's got passion versus Guan Sander. Guan Sander loves this is space to overtake. It's going back and again, forth. Again, that's just a little issue that we're having watching him. It's got to be very difficult once again for the other drivers to battle it out. The car does that to them too. Are oh, they still side by side through there? It looks like they're running really wide. And that's oh. Guan Sander around. Best tire to be on. They can go to the end of the race because look at the traction difference look at the speed he has he can carry through the corners he's already on the back of its letters is this jacob's race to win bradley's race to win as he's back up at a p3 yes he is he's got a couple of ferraris now and as you said yeah. can acti or edu go to the end on these tires because it's getting too well, late acti to box. can six laps ED his teammate has six seconds as you can see on the screen there here we go bradley got better exit speed coming out of this this should be taking candy from a baby i'd imagine because once again Acti, thinking about a championship here. Oh, Bradley does the other cut back down. You've got it, Acti. This is yours. Yeah, still, yeah, with nine seconds of penalties, as you mentioned, Bradley really has to pull out a miracle here in these last couple of laps with these fresh softs. Yes, we can, but how can you hold him here up on this main straight with that DRS? And the fact, obviously, that Bradley can break a lot later, which he does. Job done. Now, Bradley, he's got to get his Bradley, head down. 2.2 seconds ahead of Edu. That is insane. But it's Leonard closing Ooh, in onto Jake. Acti, who's closing into Edu. In and that would have cost him a lot of positions when they're pretty much bunched up right now. Jake got passion, and there's mm -hmm. Eagle. Eagle making the pass to foe it. Fantastic yeah. overtake there. These drivers are having some past. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, no, I'm keeping it. Last lap there for Bradley was a 16.3. So Bradley Last lap is ahead of Edu. Bradley is ahead of Edu at this very moment uh, as he's pulled three seconds to Edu. That's the difference in penalties between the two. But Acti needs to... Yeah, this is definitely going to switch around on things at the moment with that penalty situation that's occurring. I think it might have been two more to allow Acti through. Or either that or Edu's 19. Oh! Bradley's pulled in another three-second penalty. Power to him because that is, that is great. Bradley will take it home uh, as our on-track race winner. So congratulations to him. He was able to show the pace that he had, but unfortunately picked up too many. He was able to show the pace that he had, but unfortunately picked up too many penalties as the Ferrari driver of Acti will be our legitimate race winner, keeping it clean, keeping it cool, and a big race win to him. It's not as thigh yet. But this man, this man, uh, I love his walk. Uh, this man just has just done it because he's done it more so for the championship.